Now that you have completed the theory part of vapor liquid equilibrium of mixtures, it is time for you to get some practice. In this practice session, we consider the separation of a hydrocarbon mixture using a simple flash separator. The liquid mixture exits the flash separator at the bottom with the following molar composition. Shown now on screen, the vapor liquid equilibrium diagram for this complex mixture. Recall, the blue curve represents the mixture bubble curve, where the percentage of vaporized mole is 0%. The red curve represents the mixture dew curve, where the percentage of vaporized mole is 100%. In between these two curves, you have five curves, representing 10%, 30%, 50%, 70%, and 90% of vaporized mole. The liquid bottom stream exits the flash separator at 13 bars and at its bubble point. The first question is, what is the temperature of this stream? Now, since the liquid mixture is at its bubble point, then the percentage of vaporized mole is equal to 0%. Therefore, to determine its corresponding temperature at 13 bars, we need to draw a horizontal line at 13 bars. The intersection of the horizontal line with the bubble curve gives the operating temperature. In our case here, this temperature is equal to 65 degrees Celsius. Next, the liquid mixture is introduced to a second flash separator to yield 30% vapor overhead and 70% liquid at the bottom. The flash operating pressure is maintained at 13 bars. Let's determine the operating temperature of the second flash separator and define a process configuration to accomplish this task. Now, the second flash separator yields 30% vapor overhead. This means that the percentage of vaporized mole of the liquid feed before being processed in the second flash separator at 13 bars is 30%. Referring back to the vapor liquid equilibrium diagram, this means that the operating point of the second flash separator is located here. It is actually given by the intersection of the horizontal line, corresponding to a pressure of 13 bars, and the 30% vaporization curve, as depicted here. As a result, the operating temperature of the second flash separator is 79 degrees Celsius. Or in other words, the second flash separator should be operated at 13 bars and 79 degrees Celsius in order to recover 30% vapor overhead. Now, notice here that the liquid mixture is available at the bottom of the first flash unit at 13 bars and 65 degrees Celsius. Therefore, we need to pass it through a heater in order to raise its temperature to 79 degrees Celsius as 79 degrees Celsius is the required operating temperature of the second flash unit. This operation involves a heat exchanger, but also a liquid mover type of equipment, such as a centrifugal pump. Here, a pump is needed to convey the liquid from the first flash unit to the heat exchanger, and then to the second flash unit. This is depicted here in this process arrangement. However, as we know, pumps increase the pressure of the liquid being handled. So we need to add a third equipment to create a pressure drop in order to bring the pressure back to 13 bars, as 13 bars is the required operating pressure of the second flash unit. This can be accomplished by installing a control valve at the pump discharge, as depicted here. In addition, we can improve this process arrangement by adding a basic process control system to it. Recall, since the objective of the second flash separator is to yield a constant 30% vapor overhead, then the operating temperature and pressure of the separator must be held constant. This can be achieved by adding two control loops. One loop will act on pressure, the other on temperature, as depicted here. The pressure control loop is based on the separator's overhead pressure. This pressure is measured and compared to the operating pressure of 13 bars. If the overhead pressure deviates from 13 bars, the pressure controller, referred to here as PC, will trigger a control signal to open or close the control valve on the vapor stream. On the other hand, the temperature controller, referred to here as TC, measures the separator's operating temperature and compares it to 79 degrees Celsius. 
If the temperature deviates from 79 degrees Celsius, then the controller will act on the control valve that regulates the flow of hot fluid entering the heat exchanger. For example, if the operating temperature of the flash separator drops below 79 degrees Celsius, then the controller will open the control valve to let more hot fluid in. This will increase the temperature of the liquid mixture entering the flash separator and bring the operating temperature back to its desired set point of 79 degrees Celsius. With this process arrangement, both the temperature controller and the pressure controller contribute to maintaining constant operating temperature and pressure. This guarantees a constant overhead vaporization of 30% in the second flash separator.